and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here guys for another video and obviously following yesterday's game against Villarreal and this video isn't sort of an impact and knee jerk reaction to that game in particular this video now has been coming for quite a while and it's not me just sitting here moaning you know about something that's been going on and it's not me hating on Valverde this isn't a real criticism of anybody I am just looking for some serious explanations because I honestly don't understand and I cannot get my head around this decision because it seems like every single Barca coach that comes in, there's one player in the lineup that just seems to get left out, and there's no real reasoning behind it, and it's like the manager has just got to come in, and they've got to make an impact somehow, and it doesn't matter if it's at the expense of a player being left out who shouldn't be, and that's what I feel like it is at the moment. Semedo should be in the team, he should be our right back, and not only that, but Sergio Roberto doesn't belong there, and it's not a criticism of Roberto either, I think he's a great player, I think he's a really technically quality player that we should definitely be keeping hold of, but it's not fair on him either. I've said before, and I'll say it again, he belongs in midfield, and Semedo belongs at right back. And that is basically what today's video is about, guys. I'm going to be looking at that in a lot more detail, trying to understand Valverde's decisioning, and basically reasoning why Semedo belongs in that right back role. Looking at the long term, he is at right back, Roberto's in midfield. That's the way that it should be, and looking at the rest of the season, that's the way that it must be. And I'll start basically by explaining the situation. Semedo right now is our second choice right back. That is a fact. Right now Ernesto Valverde prefers Sergio Roberto to play as a right back. That is why the other night against Sporting Lisbon when Semedo started the game he picked up another yellow which means that he's now suspended for our first leg which is going to be against Chelsea. Now the reason that Semedo played in that game is because Sergio Roberto is right now ready to start both of those games in the last 16 stage. And any big game that comes up, Sergio Roberto right now is that first name in that right back slot as we saw against Villarreal so right now he's the first choice and like I said it's absolutely nothing against him and a lot of people are saying you know what it's just like under Luis Enrique he's being put it right back the difference was though under Luis Enrique Sergio Roberto was used in that position time and time again simply because we had nobody else especially last season when Alex Vidal picked up a serious injury there was nothing else that we could do it wasn't like we had a Danny Alves who could come in and play that role Sergio Roberto only played there last season one because he did very very well he's a very very versatile player that can put his hand at anything but two we had no other alternative that's why we signed Semedo in the summer that's the whole point we signed Semedo in the summer for big money it was a transfer fee we're going to have to pay add-ons in the end it's going to be a big fee we signed him for big money because we believed in him because we wanted him to be our first choice right back for the next 10 years when he first came in we thought this is a massive move for our club like a Danny Alves transfer all over again and that is the biggest problem that's why I just cannot get my head around it we signed him in the summer, Valverde gave the okay to the transfer, and right now, he's not even first choice, and I just do not get it. And I just think right now, the time has come, it's December, we're going into Christmas now, it's going to be 2018 very, very shortly. Valverde has had a number of months now to play around with his teams, to have a look at different lineups, have a look at different systems, and I think the time has come now to stop the experiments. Stop the experiments, get your first team absolutely correctly, and I think the time has come now to start playing Semedo where he belongs belongs in that right back position and giving him a solid run of games. Give him a game here, give him a game there. It doesn't work. A lot of people will say to me now, you know, Semedo hasn't been great when he's been playing in the past few weeks. And why do you think that is? Why do you think that when he came into the club, he was excellent? You know, the first few games of the season, every single game that he played, he was a 9 out of 10. He was rivaling for Man of the Match award every single time he played. He had a huge impact down that right hand side. And then all of a sudden, for apparently no reason, he gets taken out of that lineup, and how do you think that affects him? He's come into a new club, he's settled in very, very quickly, and then all of a sudden, he's taken out of it. He must be wondering what on earth he did wrong, and we're all wondering exactly the same thing. And when you're in one week, out the next week, then you're in, then you're left out of the squad, it makes no sense, and that has not done him any good at all, especially coming into a new club. His confidence right now has taken a massive, massive hit. You can't just come in, play well, and then lose that quality. Semedo, over the course of a few months, has not lost the ability to become a good right back. He is still that same player but he just doesn't have that confidence. When you're in and out of the team, he's 24 years old, you don't need to be rotated. Lionel Messi's 30 years old and he can play nearly every game, no question about it, no problem. The same goes for Suarez. You do not need to be resting Semedo when he's 24 years old. We've seen it with Dani Alves over the years. He can play every game, no problem at all. Semedo should be in that team week in, week out, building his confidence, continuing his understanding and don't forget as well, he 
still got to learn here. He needs time on the pitch to establish combinations with people like Messi, with the, with the midfield. He needs time on the pitch to establish these partnerships. And he hasn't had that so far. He has not been given a fair run in the last few months in the team. He's been in one week and then he's been out with virtually no explanation. And I come here today with this video simply because now we've been drawn against Chelsea, the sort of latter end of the season is rapidly coming towards us quickly. And I just think now we're going into the big games. You've got Real Madrid before Christmas. Then you've got the round of 16 matches after Christmas. We've got some big, big league games as well coming up in 2018. Now is the time when we should have our team sorted. We should know what our best lineup is. And that is Semedo. And I think now is the time that we need to start putting him in that team. Putting him in that team and leaving him there. Giving him a run of games to establish himself. And I think as well, you need to start putting Sergio Roberto into midfield. We need to start giving him a chance in that midfield. Because I've said it as well in yesterday's review. When you play Roberto at right back and you have no Semedo at all, and then you play Rakitic in front of him in a sort of wide midfield role, especially when we play the 4-4-2, it doesn't work. There is absolutely no pace down that right-hand side. Sergio Roberto in a midfield role could give you that element of pace. But at right back, when you compare him to Semedo, the athleticism is the massive between them. There's a massive gap in terms of the pace and how much forward and how quickly Semedo can move and get on the break. It doesn't work when you have Roberto and Rakitic together on that right side because there's no pace, there's no cutting edge, and it doesn't work. And like I said, especially with Chelsea around the corner. Now, I understand that Semedo is banned for the first game, so Roberto will play at right back, particularly in that second leg. You think about Eden Hazard. You think about Eden Hazard running at Sergio Roberto. Sergio Roberto can cover at right back no problem at all. He understands the style of play. He's fantastically good on the ball. He can go forward. He can put in good balls in the final third. But the one thing that he would really, really struggle at, simply because he's not a defender, is 1v1s. And Eden Hazard against Sergio Roberto is going to be a big problem for us. Hazard is very, very good at direct running. He's got a lot of pace. He's got a lot of ability. His close control is exceptional. So when he's running at Roberto, we have got real problems. But in that second leg, why not play them both? Play Semedo at right back and play Roberto in midfield. That way, you've got both options covered. You've got Semedo at right back. You've got that outlet. And what Semedo will be able to do, because he's so, so quick, he will not only be able to match Hazard in the 1v1s, just like he did against Douglas Costa in the 3-0 at the camp now. He matched him for pace every single time. Douglas Costa didn't get a kick. He would match Hazard in that way, but what he would also do is push Hazard back the other way. Semedo would continue making runs up and down the right and making Hazard work. The one thing Hazard does not want to do is track his right back. He does not want to be running back. He does not want to be defending. He wants to be going the other way. You play Semedo and you'll be forcing Eden Hazard out of his comfort zone and making him run, making him work hard, going back in the other direction. And I think that's the really important point. And it's not only about Chelsea because like I say, Semedo is going to be banned for the first leg. But providing we get through that game, we want Semedo in that right back and feeling comfortable in the latter stage of the Champions League. You want a right back there that is capable. You think of the game against PSG at the Parc des Princes and it's Sergio Roberto against Draxler. We got really caught out that day and it wasn't all Sergio Roberto's fault because I think the covering from midfield wasn't there either. That's why I'm saying if you play both of them, Semedo at right back, Roberto in midfield. Roberto can give you something in that midfield that's very, very good. He can press Fabregas when he's on the ball. He's somebody who's got good defensive qualities. So when Semedo goes forward, Sergio Roberto can happily tuck in. He's a right back. He knows how to play there and he can easily tuck into the space Semedo leaves behind. So I think both of them could be a really, really good combination. But for some reason, Valverde has not tried it even once this season and I just don't understand that. And Valverde's lack of faith in Semedo is absolutely evident simply when you look at the appearances from both players this season. Now on the face of it, Semedo has played nine league games. Sergio Roberto, two games more in the league. He's made 11 league appearances. In the Champions League, Sergio Roberto has made one game less than Semedo. He's played four times in the Champions League. Semedo, though, has played five times. Like I said, playing that game against Sporting when really he should have been rested. He should have been rested in that game. Instead, he picks up a book in and now he's suspended. But on the face of it, they played similar games. But then when you think about it, Sergio Roberto was injured for a whole month. In that month, Semedo has been playing simply because Valverde didn't have anybody else. He should have been playing more times than Roberto at right back. He should have had more games to establish himself, but he hasn't. And I just don't get it. I think right now, the time has come to start giving him the chances that he deserves. Because long term, when you're thinking long term, you don't see Roberto as a long term right back. He is not a good solution at right back in the long term. In midfield, completely different story. If he's given the chances there, and if he's given the opportunities, he could really make them count and turn into a really excellent midfield player. But at right back, he's simply not the option going forward. Whereas Semedo, 24 years old, athletic, very good going forward. He's 
got defensive qualities. Yes, he can improve. Of course he can. But he'll do that if he gets the chances. Long term, going forward, Semedo at right back, Roberto in midfield. That's the way that it has to be. And I think right now, we have to start seeing evidence of that very, very quickly. Valverde has to start doing it. He has to start to act now. Because going into 2018, going into those massive games, we need a set lineup. We need the best players on the pitch at that given time. And for me, that's Semedo at right back. And given the opportunities, Roberto deserves a chance in midfield. Leave your thoughts down below, guys. I'm sure there'll be a lot of opinions on this issue. I know a lot of us are getting frustrated. And I know a lot of people as well maybe think other things as well. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. I will see you very, very shortly with more videos. But I just wanted to bring you my thoughts on this on this Monday afternoon. I'll see you soon. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Barça, Barça, Barça.